<clears throat> Hi, beautiful souls. I hope that some of you got to see the moon last night. It was really spectacular here on the southeast coast. The stars were really clear. And <clears throat> when I took Lanto out, we, um, we were out for a good time, just moon gazing and stargazing, filling ourselves up with a really sweet and beautiful energy. It was seriously delightful last night. This morning, I feel inspired to share a little more light on inner power and how vital it is that everyone keeps stepping up into more of their inner power, allowing their inner power to flow through them, express through them, rather than looking outside for people to tell them what to do, looking for authority figures, telling them how they should act, what the right way, the wrong way is, polarities, but going deep with inside and finding the integrity and dignity and discernment and courage and wisdom from your own inner guidance system. This is how we're supposed to live. We're not supposed to be being told what to do. We're not supposed to be managed, directed, farmed, if you will. There are so many people that give away their power and do their nine to fives, moaning and criticizing and hating what they do, but not actually taking responsibility to change their situations. people go oh but you know this is so unfair this is the situation I was born into or blah 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 but that's only if you're looking at it as a single life we don't have one single life we have multiple lives and we're living everything all at once and when we realize that we can tap into anything that we've ever been that we ever will be and that we are in this moment because we're multidimensional and that's the whole point is that when we're here we bring everything into the present moment and we express ourselves as everything that we are and in that way we're able to share and utilize all of our higher gifts producing more magic and joy in each movement action word and playfulness. Your inner power is something that you are innately strong in. You are strong in your inner power. You hold everything within you. You don't need to ask advice of somebody else about whether you should do this or that. You know it all inside. And whilst I said yesterday that with divining tools, you might practice and play as part of the process, playing with divining tools to remember and enhance the psychic, if you want to call it psychic, abilities that you already have. But you don't need them forever. And you shouldn't keep holding on to things. Like I said, you know, when you're learning to ride a bicycle, the point is not to keep the stabilis stabilizers on there forever. The point is to take them off so that you're free. And when you're learning to swim, you don't keep the armbands on forever, you take them off. It's part of the process. And when you do take them off, you won't feel like you're ready. You won't feel like you're ready, but you make the leap. You take that step of faith, jump of faith, whatever you want to call it. And that's the same with living life. There comes a point where we must be courageous and go, you know what? Forwards, onwards. I don't know how this is going to be. I don't know if I'll fail. I don't know if I'll fall. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
You don't have to know everything. Knowing everything is a type of control. Trusting is a difference, a very different vibration. And when you want to feel into vibrations, just say the word, how it feels to you, hand on your heart, and feel that. Feel that, feel, do that now. Say the word control, hand on your heart, and then say the word trust. And see how different it feels. I encourage everyone to stand true in their inner power, to utilize the power from within, and to live free lives, influencing themselves from their own innate guidance system and inspiring all so that we all keep raising our frequency, our vibration, so that the whole collective consciousness also rises in unity and with love and through love and in love to create a lot more peace, joy, harmony and blissfulness on this planet. And do this because you feel that that would be fun. Don't do it because you feel it's a duty, because if you feel it's a duty and it and becomes all hard and rigid, then again, you're missing the point. You're missing the point. It's a, about a feeling, how good it feels. Does it feel good to you to imagine that all people are lovely and kind and joyful and happy and that there's peace everywhere and there's no horrid things going on? That to me feels really good. That's why I do it. I don't do it out of duty. I don't do it because I feel like it's, it's us humans, we should take care of the planet. The planet will take care of itself. Gaia's not stupid. If Gaia wanted, she could just shake the fleas off her body. And she does do that. We all know that she does do that. Living life with a gentleness, akin to a summer breeze, feeling the joy in your heart, being in a place of love and doing things that make you feel good, coming from your heart. Isn't that a lovely way to live? So whenever I suggest or share anything, it's not that I telling anyone what to do, just saying what works for me, of course, and sharing my point of view. I don't put disclaimers in the whole time because I find that rather defensive and uh, boring of when people do that. Take what you like and leave the rest. Yawn. <laughs> I think it goes without saying that we take what we like and we leave the rest or leave, take nothing if it doesn't resonate. It's quite obvious, we don't have to put that in all the time. Such a beautiful morning. I send you lots of love. May your paths be aligned with joy. And may you keep feeling the wonderful empowerment of your own inner truth and your own inner guidance system. Trusting in yourself every step of the way. Thank you for watching. My name is Zaza and I would appreciate it if you could like, share, subscribe, comment. I will get round to the comments eventually. Um, thank you very much.